The intensive care unit at Nevison Health's hospital in Macon is like ICUs everywhere. Nurses and doctors constantly checking in on the seriously ill, all while trying to keep the noise down. But there's one sound you can't escape. So much beeping. That's Nevison ICU nurse Taylor Rickert. These monitors beep, the, the machines beep, the pumps beep, everything beeps. You get home at night, it still beeps. Rickert says the beeps are important, of course, because they communicate about the conditions of patients. She couldn't do her job without them. But in terms of emotional well-being, the beeping can be tough. That's why it was a relief when violist Keone Bolding unpacked his instrument near one of the ICU nurses stations on a recent morning and launched into a set of mostly Christmas favorites. Bolding was invited here by Avanish Barr, one of the ICU's doctors. Barr doesn't play music himself. I play the radio. <laughs> but about a year ago, he recognized the value of having music in what can be an emotionally chilly place. It's, it's cold. It's very clinical. I felt the need that at least we needed to introduce the concept of at least something more human or humane in the ICU to kind of make it a softer environment. And it's not just that music on the ward feels nice. Barr says there's science behind this. Uh, there's some studies have shown that when you use music, you've reduced the anxiety that patients have, the fear that patients have. One study showed that music before and after surgery was better at reducing anxiety than anti-anxiety medication. Studies suggest classical music works best here. For the elderly, playing the music they enjoyed in their youth has documented benefits. You reduce some delirium or episodes of confusion because it's something they can relate to. Studies suggest not all music is created equal for the purposes of intensive care. Jazz? It might require too much mental attention to be therapeutic. And heavy metal and techno can apparently cause heart arrhythmias in a clinical setting, so no turning it up to 11. Dr. Barr says musicians in the hallway are a nice start, but he's not sure patients hear it from the other end of the ward. Uh, but yeah, so I think some other ICUs do have the facilities for that, where music's piped in directly to a patient's bedside. That would allow more personal music choices, too. Keone Bolding plays a set at either end of the ward so everyone can hear. Deneen Schumann is among those outside their loved one's rooms listening in. Schumann shoots video on her phone as Bolding plays and sings along until he's done. And then she checks to see how her father-in-law enjoyed it. Oh, just to see the look on his face. The music just makes your soul just stay up. It turns out music can be good medicine, too. For GPB News, I'm Grant Blankenship in Macon.